How's it going everybody? My name is Dalton. Welcome back to Garage 89. And in today's video, uh, I'm doing a little bit of a tribute. As you can see by my shirt, my very first sports car was this WRX. Now this was the first picture I ever took of that car. Definitely what most of my car friends and every aspect of me getting into the car world and falling in love with the car world, responsible for all that. And it's a 2006 Subaru WRX that I bought bonus stock outside of the Enki 17 inch wheels that were on it. They were okay. I mean, it was pretty cool. Silver was pretty basic, but that's kind of what I was known for was having a super clean silver Subaru. I mean, would you look at that thing? But yeah, it was a WRX TR which was the tuner ready it didn't have normally doesn't come with a spoiler or painted mirrors or fog lights or any of like the fancy options didn't have side skirts either those are just painted rockers so it was pretty much a basic package wrx that uh what are those they're about 230 horsepower bone stock zero to 60 about five seconds pretty reasonable 2.5 liter four cylinder it was the ej255 engine with the five speed which wasn't the greatest five speed in the world they're paying like 11 or 12 grand for that that car was 68,000 miles on it. So I got a really good deal. That was what opened me into the car world. I had so much fun with it. Literally the first day I got it, stopped at the exhaust shop on the way home and I picked up a Cobb catback from Oko's. I had him install it that day. Then from there, I went straight to Best Buy, dropped like another thousand dollars, got nice touchscreen, speakers, backup camera, all kinds of stuff. This was at a car meet, uh, one of my first car meets. Looks like I did window tints as well. I, I did that pretty shortly after. Um, okay, so in here, look at how clean this thing is i mean it is unnecessarily spotless it is it was such a nice car i missed that thing so much it looks like i got a front lip those are pretty cheap it was something i never knew how to install it that was like the first mod i did outside of the exhaust i didn't install the exhaust though i took it to a shop because i literally did not know what to do got the rear energy tow hook that's pretty cool prison woodward oh look i had the little racy keychain in the back of it gotta take the fish eye a couple more at woodward this was in front of our local park, right by our house. Uh, oh, it looks like you got mud flaps and uh, you got the Auto City imports. So me and the boys spent a bunch of time going to Gibraltar back when that was open. And you know, I couldn't make stickers at the time. So I had somebody else make uh, the, this sticker. I had the Auto City import that was done back when Alex used to work at Auto City imports. Uh, I got the Rally Pig sticker up there, the Cobb front license plate, block plate or whatever it is. Uh, it was a good looking car. I see I got the blue lug nut, HID headlight. Of course, you're sitting still in your park. You got keep them on man the thing was nice it looked good from every angle let's see what we got in here oh i got the emblem overlay got that from alex skakoff battery tie down spt got the radiator cover got the radiator stays and those little blue things on the front air intake i see a blow off valve so i did not hesitate to put a bunch of stuff on here oh i have my sti side skirts because like i said the car didn't come with side skirts oh i see my bc racing coilovers honestly it did not take me long to modify the heck out of this thing it looks like it's sitting up high it must just be the angle of the photo but yeah i think this is 2014 got my turbo inlet high and low oil caps she's photogenic i'll give you that this is that seller subaru i think he had a car meet or something that day this is what it looks like when an idiot wants to lower his car and can't drive straight into a driveway he has to do it at an angle i don't know driving a low car around makes you just a better driver because you avoid potholes and oh look at that thing in pristine condition i got that car at such a good price nothing like the sound of it either man that was looking low too that might have been my favorite phase of that car because it was just perfectly modified without being too much this was like the clean part of the build there's like yellow plastic caps that i ended up painting blue everywhere i'm pretty sure it has an electronic boost controller as well because i had this thing pro tuned and it was pushing like 24 pounds of boost oh looks like i'm doing brakes nice shiny drill and slotted rotors this shiniest exhaust I have ever seen on a vehicle. So the muffler is so big, even though the tip is still like a three or four inch tip, the muffler is so big and so shiny all the time. I would get complaints from my buddies with their fog lights because it was like glaring back at them at night and blinding them. I don't think I had taken such good care of a car like I did with that car. You can see all of our Auto City import stickers in the front. Oh man, fall pictures. Woo! I sure does bring back some memories too. Oh yeah, this was at Stony Creek. That's where that was. Got all the uh, the Hawkeyes in the middle. It looks so good. I, I was the only one without black headlights, but that changed pretty shortly because I really wanted black headlights. But man, I meant the Hawkeye is the best looking Subaru still. I think that was in storage for the year. I kept it in my uh, parents' garage. That was the first time somebody ever took a picture of my car and they made it in black and white. Not like it matters, it looks silver. That's poor sticker placement right in the middle of the windshield wiper. What was I thinking? 
Oh, okay. So this is when I got my new wing. There was my old wing. I got this for like a hundred and something bucks if somebody was getting a different trunk. Yeah, I was one of those guys. I was a poser. I put an STI wing on a WRX. Why? Because it's the best looking wing for that car. So this is me test fitting it. There's a template and everything. Okay, so I know this is a little cringy. This was me getting experimental. So yeah, I had a cob knob. That was the only normal part of this. I had a turbo keychain thing that you press the button and the thing would spool up. I don't know why I thought that'd be cool. Um, I made my own Crown Royal ship boot bag or whatever and brown apparently was the only one available. Even though the most popular one is purple, I'm not sure how I got wound up with brown. Uh, and then yeah, I wrapped my interior color shifting vinyl that was so cheap. Oh, it's, I know it's cringy, I'm sorry guys. It was terrible vinyl. It didn't last very long. It did a great wrap job, but it, it did not last long at all. Oh, yeah, that's a nice looking picture. My wife got me those back when she was my girlfriend. Uh, she got me the uh, Hella Panther Supertones. That was like the thing on Evos and Subarus is you got these hella horns and they actually they actually sounded pretty good and there's me when i painted them silver i thought they looked way better not being yellow and they blended in pretty well Ooh. okay so this is when i decided to do my own headlights note to self if you don't know what you're doing don't do your own headlights the lenses i just couldn't get clean enough and they got cloudy eventually i do like the way i did it with all the black housing and i did like a, a silver finish on that to keep like the shine down on the inside of the headlights i mean they looked okay there's my hella panthers those look pretty good in the front grill like that Oh man, there's that wing. Look at how much better the back end of that car looked with the wing. That was like 400 bucks for that freaking wing to get painted. Plus the STI side skirts, those are like 700 at the dealership. Man, it's not easy looking like an STI. There's a lot of work. Oh, and I had that roof spoiler too. I think that was either new or newer. Everybody had those, those were pretty cool. I miss that car so much. I think I lowered it even more. There's no front lip on it right there. Yeah, I think I lowered it so much. So from this picture to this picture, I just got it out of storage. I lowered it so much that I hit a puddle on one of our main roads the puddle ripped the front lip right off of the car i mean like clean off the car have no idea where it went i thought i heard something but it wasn't even that loud yeah i didn't have a lip for a minute there there's the new lip but yeah i lowered that thing so much i mean it is so close to the ground it's insane super meat wife cleaning the wheels could you ask for a better woman than that look at that it's awesome although i couldn't help but notice she's over there cleaning the wheels and there's this smudge on the front of the car those wheels were cool they were just the wrong fitment they were like 17 by 8 or something they weren't amazing oh man this is one of my favorite pictures i think it's next to lance's subaru when it looked its best as well i think both of our cars were at, at their prime right there it's kind of a blurry picture with the new headlights another blurry picture but that's uh in frankenmuth on the covered bridge oh my god it looks so good so after this picture it jumps really far in the future and the build gets eh, pretty aggressive um yeah there's a little comparison. Look at how much more mean that car looks. So I got canards, sweet new overlay, side skirt extensions, rear spats, rear wing splitters, fog lights, fog light bezels, fog light overlays. And then from here, I think this it was the peak of my car. I literally did, you know, not to mention, it not only had full exhaust, had dump pipes, headers, blow off valve, STI intercooler, custom tune. I had a crazy amount of camber. You can see the cambers towed way in. I had like negative two and a half degrees of camber in the front negative three and a half in the back i had this crazy custom front splitter that i made in home it actually was fully functional it went like halfway down the car in the middle and everything um that was a crazy splitter i love that oh yeah i put that strut tower bar in there too i did a lot of stuff to this car those wheels those are my rotor grids 18 by eight and a half absolutely love that finish on a silver car it's like my favorite look now it was like silver on silver. It was so cool. Had the Mutegi SR48. So much stuff done to this car. Look at how good that thing is from the side. I mean, that is just... Mm, it's perfect. Love that. I could stare at this picture all day, but I won't. Back end looked amazing. I put a logo on the trunk. Car was so clean inside and out. Okay, so let me explain this. Me and my wife, girlfriend at the time, got bored and we were like, yo, let's plasti dip the interior and then we'll throw paint on it and then we'll clear coat over it. But yeah, that honestly is, uh, that was the finished product right there of my car. I think I had it for four or five years and I uh, probably stuck just as about as much money into it as I had paid for the car. I loved every second of it. Sold it because I wanted to buy a house. Oh, here's like a, a sound clip of like, almost like one of the last times that I even had the car. Oh 
with this, this was the last, last time I had that car because there was my big Jeep at the time. Uh, I had that thing super low. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this part. Um, now let's uh, go to the other thing I was gonna do. If you thought we were jumping on the simulator to drive a identical Subaru to what I had, you might be right, because that's exactly what we're gonna do. Alrighty, we are at the M1 concourse. Would you listen to that thing? So let's do it for my Subaru. Something big like mine did. And of course we gotta have it in silver. drive so there's tons of understeer. straight away. Coming up to the sweeping right turn. Oh, went to fifth instead of third. Getting sideways. It's all good. Going off track, not good. That's not good. See how sideways you can get in an all-wheel drive car. so much for watching and I'm hoping that you enjoyed this video because uh, I enjoyed making it and I really do miss that car but I figured because nobody on this channel really knew of that car if you're new to the channel if you don't know me if you didn't know me before YouTube then you would have never seen that car I figured I might as well put a little collection and do a tribute video for it so I'd like to thank you all so much for watching guys peace out keep turning those gears I don't need to see that anymore.